Hey guys, this is Mike from uh, Northwest Man Time, and today we're going to do a little 101. That is a 101 class on sharpening your crampons. Um, these uh, are a, a little over a year old, as you can tell from the edges, they've been used. Um, and, you know, a quick note we'll talk about a couple things. One, if you uh, just bought your crampons and you're just starting, um, you, you don't need to sharpen them. They come plenty sharp out of the box. This is my second year uh, as a mountaineer and I've done some mixed climbing and what I mean by that I've been in mixed conditions. So sometimes uh, like for instance Mount Baker as you're gonna go up towards the head wall of Mount Baker you're gonna end up or at least on the route we did we ended up on a big rocky ridge that went for I, I don't know a quarter of a mile and um, you know we didn't take our crampons off so it, uh, you're walking on rock and if you're an annual climber like uh, or you plan to be like I am um, really your crampons are gonna last for a really long time my partner Bob he, he was still wearing old-school crampons that were leather and um, I think he sharpened them whenever he needed to but um, that from everything, all the research I've done, crampons can last you like 10 years. But I, I want to take the best care of my gear that I can, just like you do. So um, I found a lot of the videos on YouTube and a lot of the descriptions and books to be lacking. Um, the best thing I found was actually in Backpacker Magazine. Um, and I even called up a few stores and asked them and they said for liability issues uh, they, they can't show me but uh, Backpacker Magazine explained it the best way they could to me so I want to keep these sharp because I'm going up on Mount Hood here in a few weeks and I want these especially, especially these front points sharp because I know uh, um, on the uh, the left chute on the pearly gates it has about a 20 foot um, sheet of ice on it and um, I uh, climbing on that is fun. Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not, but I want these points sharp for that. Uh, so anyway, so the first step really is to get some warm water and a scrub brush, and we're just gonna make sure that these are clean. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off, just real good. Uh, if you remember from the last video, we, we rinsed them off, which you're supposed to do every time. Um, but if you just give me a minute, I'm going to do a time lapse here. I'm going to go ahead and scrub these down real good. Okay, so I just washed that with a mild uh, di liquid soap, you know, dishwashing soap. Same thing I use to wash my dishes with, nothing too harsh. And um, if you want to use a vise, uh, I, I've heard that recommended. But, you know, if you use a vise in the back or the front, you might warp something. Um, so I'm just holding it down on my knee and th I've got this little file here uh, you know only cost me a few bucks at a Fred Myers now here's the now here's the tip because you you might be wondering like I was well what what am, what am I exactly am I supposed to do um, these are only a year old and as you could tell that they look plenty sharp but I just want to go ahead and put a little edge on them what you're gonna be sharpening is this edge these two edges here because obviously it has four edges you're not going to be sharpening the wide edge you're not going to be sharpening this here right you're going to be sharpening this and you're not going to be filing back and forth that's a no-no you file in one direction so right now I've got my leg firm I'm holding I've got a pair of gloves on to protect my hands and I'm just going to give it a firm one way and I'm going with the motion of of the uh, just going with the the direction of the cramp on you know it's already got its own natural shape and I'm just going with it I'm gonna do that a few times and and see I can see I can see we've made a little we made a little progress there now what you definitely don't want to do is you don't want to mess with any of this down here because that that could hurt the integrity of the cramp on you don't want them thinner that that's not going to help you at all um, they're designed this way for a purpose. You're really just interested in this little tip up here. So I'm just going to take it a few times across the tip. It's just a firm one-way motion and uh, I can already see a little 
I can feel, you know, how when you, you sharpen a knife and you, and you feel back on it and you get that resistance, I can already feel that. So I can tell I've put a little edge on that and I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna do that on all my different, uh, this is a 12 point cramp on, I'm gonna do that on all my points. And then on your front points, if they look like mine, these are regular alpine, these aren't meant for ice climbing. I mean, I do hit spots of ice, like I said, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna file these wide, these wide edges. I'm gonna leave these alone. I'm only gonna sharpen these edges, just like I did the other ones. And I'm gonna sharpen them just like that and give them a little bit of edge just to make them a little bit sharper right there at the point. And that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit of a labor uh, and it's definitely a labor of love, but when you get up there and especially up on Mount Hood where you know suddenly you've, you're you at the 10,500 foot level, you're on that head wall and it feels a little icy, I want these bad boys, especially up here, and on all of them, I want them a little bit extra sharp. Um, so that's my 101 on, uh, <clears throat> so that's my 101 on uh, sharpening your blades. And then after you get done with that, uh, go ahead and get a, I've got a, a rough towel here, and just give them a wipe down. Give those blades a wipe down and uh, check, go ahead and check the rest of them. You wanna make sure that there's nothing that looks broken. Um, check the rest of your, I mean, you need to do an annual check of these. And then like I had said before, uh, rinse them off when you're done, dry them off with a rag, and then let them air dry for a good period of time before putting them back in, in their bags so that they don't rust. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I got for you today, and uh, thanks for watching. So I just finished sharpening my crampons, took probably 20 minutes, um, not a big deal. Like I said, I've only used them one season. I did have a few notes, a few things I noticed while I was doing it that I wanted to share with you guys. Be careful with your file. Um, just be aware of where it is. You don't want to be dragging it along other parts of your crampon that you could damage. Your strap, for instance. Um, that's also a good time to check your strap, make sure it's not damaged. Um, another thing I noticed is that, uh, and I hadn't really looked at the spikes that closely before, and you probably can't tell, and it doesn't matter because we all have different crampons, but they all have individual shapes, and some of them are very subtle. I mean, they're very subtle. Some of them are, you know, very much like shark's teeth. As you can see, these, you know, are very direct. Um, some of them look like pizza slices, but don't try to change the shape of anything. Really focus just on that little tip right up there just just I mean I just just some firm um, firm movements with the with the file there and and I just did it a, a little bit till it felt a little bit sharper on top I can tell the difference but don't don't change any of the shape on there the engineers know what they're doing um, and also if you have any major cracks or they're bent in or something is obviously wrong with your cramp on this is not the video for you. You need to speak with an expert or better yet, just go buy another pair of brand new crampons. This, uh, this is just for maintenance. Um, like I said, I didn't do a whole lot to these. Mine were not rounded off. They were already a little sharp. I just took a file to the edges um, and, I, and I'm satisfied with what happened. They are a little bit, they are a little bit sharper now for this new season. So uh, thanks for watching guys.